give a conversation to a Siri. My oh, who say does that star spangle banner yet wave o'er the land of the free in the home of the brave and to get us underway that was Skylar Cole singing the Star Spangled Banner. Thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Golden State Warriors going up against the Boston Celtics. Brian Anderson here. With me tonight are analysts Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill and our reporter, Allie LaForce. Allie, take it away. Warriors head coach Steve Kerr last season was named the next head coach of the U.S. men's basketball team alongside Eric Spolstra and Monty Williams. Kerr had served as an assistant under Greg Popovich, who led the team since 2015. Now the baton has been passed. And the sense is the team is in good hands. All right, good stuff, Allie. Thanks. And let's take a look at Boston's starting lineup. Horford and Williams together in the front court. Brown and Tatum are the explosive wing pair. And it's Smart in at the one spot. And for Golden State, all three shooters are out there. The splash triplets, Curry, Clay, and Poole. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Green. The former home of the Warriors, Richard, Oakland. What was it like to play over in the East Bay? Listen, it was a lot more fun when I was playing in a Warriors uniform versus playing against them. Those crowds are insane. Maybe the loudest in the NBA, although the Boston fans might have a little bit of something to say about that. But I must say, this new building is gorgeous. And here's Smart. Williams, a screen on Poole. Brown passes to Williams, and it's going to be out of bounds. Boston will have another go. Here's Tatum. Count it. One for one to start the game. Over the years, Tatum has limited the amount of mid-range jumpers that he takes, but it is still a natural part of his game. Pass to Poole, outside, Green. The three from Curry. Williams grabs the board. Here's Smart. Outside, Brown, from deep. And that's good, his first bucket of the game. He can do a lot with the ball, but Brown is just as good playing off the ball. He's always ready to catch and fire. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. To the inside. Here's Thompson. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. Tatum passes to Smart. Now here's Brown. Williams a screen on Poole. To the paint. Oh, deflected. It's stolen by Green. Curry with it. Picked up by Tatum. Takes a step back. Shot is up. Oh, they get a hand on it. Here's Thompson. No good. And it's Boston the other way. On the wing, Tatum. Guarded by Poole. Pass to Smart. Back to Tatum. Tatum. 
and he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Jason Tatum still so young. His game still evolving. Over the last couple years, he's been getting to the line more and more, and that's huge. First one falls, and Jason Tatum seeing his free throw attempts increase. What's that tell you, Richard? Well, it just tells me that he's playing with more intensity, but he's also playing smarter. Jason's using his athleticism to force the issue. Get to the easy points at the line. That's what your thoughts are. And so Tatum nails both of them. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. It's stolen by Tatum. And here we go. The Celtics on the run. And finished by Tatum. Wow. Mercy. Jason Tatum is a bad man. The Warriors have gone 0 for 4, missing their first four attempts. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Green, the pass to Thompson, shoots over Tatum, and that one's long. And here are the Celtics. Nine points in a row, a good run going. Smart against Curry. Smart outside. Here's Tatum, shot clock at five. Here's Williams. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. They came out swinging, really setting the tone on offense, and the opposition has not been able to respond. Timeout called. The Warriors. And here are the first, about three minutes in. Green with a screen on Smart. Curry passes to Green. Poole outside. Five on the clock. Shoots over Brown. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. See, that miss, that miss right there. It's why teams try to avoid the mid-range jumper these days. Pass to Tatum. Horford with it. He's covered by Curry. Fader on the way. And there's Horford on the assist by Tatum. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. They came out and bum-rushed them. Huge difference in activity level from both teams tonight. 
Shocking that he just bricked that one. The defense got real lucky there. Now here's Smart. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. From behind the arc. Tatum can't hit. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Wiggins finds Poole. Thompson outside. On the wing, Curry to end the run. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. The team first mentality of Thompson. When someone on his squad is open, he finds them. Pass to Brown. Second chance shot. And it's Poole with a rebound. Golden State has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Now Green. Curry with it. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. The Celtics have gone five of nine from the floor. And the Boston Celtics are one of the most decorated teams in all of sports. Think about all the rings they've won, as well as the talent that they've had on their roster. Poole from long range. Rebound Boston. Williams has got four rebounds now. Let's it go from 11. Another miss by Brown. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Yeah, straight up, guys. Like, he's ice cold, like freezing. What's colder than cold? But you don't have to shoot it, my guy. It's okay to pass the ball. Such a rich history for the respected Boston franchise. From the days of Bill Russell to Larry Bird and Kevin McHale in the 80s, and then Pierce Allen, KG Rondo winning the ring in 08. The players on this roster understand how important it is to carry on that legacy. And Boston calls time here. Vincenzo, he's checked in for pool. Vincenzo against Brown. Pass to Smart. Now Brown. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to go on Draymond Green. Love the aggression from Brown. A tough cover for any defender out there. At the line for two. free throw misses. Well, you have to be impressed with the constant growth we're seeing from Jalen Brown. He's put in a lot of work to become an all-star player. Looney's checked in for the Warriors. Kaminga comes in for Klay Thompson. And 
the second free throw is good. And at this point for Brown, do you think he's realized his full potential, Richard? No, I don't even think so, especially when you look at his work ethic. He puts in so much time that I think he can reach another level. He's still young and eager to learn. If I were to put it in 2K terms, I think he could get up to about a 94, 95 overall. The execution has been better lately, but do they have enough energy to pull it off? The thing they have to watch for is mental fatigue. They have to stay focused and finish the job. Now here's Tatum. He has six. Kaminga with it. Outside Curry. Pass to Wiggins. Down low. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Horford. He clipped the ball there, but not enough to nab the steal. That's fine. You love the effort. Not making things easy for the opposition on offense. The Celtics making a switch here. Williams is checked in for Williams. Gallinari comes in for Horford. Malcolm Brogdon's checked in for Brown. And Pritchard is subbed in for Smart. DiVincenzo can't hit. The Celtics with the lead. Gallinari for three. And it's going to be out of bounds. Boston will have another go. And the Warriors making a switch here. Wiseman's checked in. Golden State on D. Outside Gallinari. The three is up. The shot comes out. And Golden State will come the other way. Outside Curry. The three. And out of bounds. The Celtics will take it. Boston's gone one for five from three-point range. A cold start. Pass to Tatum. Williams, a screen on Kaminga. Here's Tatum. Looney grabs a miss. Golden State has gone three of seven from beyond the arc in the first. DiVincenzo against Tatum. DiVincenzo, pass to Curry. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And for Boston, they're shooting just 36% here in the first quarter. Outside Tatum. Pass to Pritchard. There's the three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. The three from Curry. That won't go either for Curry. This is the definition of forcing it. He's trying to get himself going, but taking tough shots just won't do it. Is Pritchard. Ooh, rejected by Wiseman. Now here's Kaminga. Tight defense on him. It's stolen by Tatum. A minute 31 left in the first. Pass to Pritchard. Outside Brogdon. Trying to get back on track. Looney grabs a miss. The Warriors trailing. Outside Kaminga. Now DiVincenzo. Guarded by Brogdon. DiVincenzo can't hit. And here are the Celtics. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Gallinari. Now Tatum. Just five on the clock. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. First personal foul. When you got a guy that's too big for a guard, he's Jimmy too Austin. quick for a forward. Jason what do you have Tatum. there? You have Jason Tatum. Jimmy he is White. an absolute matchup nightmare. White, he's checked in for Pritchard. Misses for Tatum. 
What strikes me about Jason Tatum is really his versatility. He's got any move for any situation that you throw at him. His moves have moves. His counters have counters. That is a man that can finish plays or make them. And the basket by Curry. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Now here's Brogdon. Looking for his first basket still in this one. But the teardrop. Ooh, rejected by Wiseman. Kuminga against Brogdon. Outside Curry. From deep three-point range. No luck on that one. And so it's Jason Tatum making highlights for the Celtics. Between the scoring and rebounding, an excellent period. Back to the game after this break. Ladies and gentlemen, your warrior here. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. All right, guys, what do you think about the Celtics here in this one? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. It's been a group effort, and that's what it takes to play the kind of defense that they've played. Great showing from them. And legacies are defined in the playoffs. Game to game, what's the measure of greatness for a star player in your mind, Grant? Well, B.A., I think it's all about consistency. The great ones in this league historically bring it every night. They may have a bad game here or there, but for the most part, the energy, the effort, and the consistency is always there. On the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. Smart and White make up the backcourt. Horford and Williams together in the front court, And it's Brown in at the three slot. Now here's Brown. Four on the clock. Shoots over Thompson. Brown can't hit. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. Here's DiVincenzo. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. That's on Al Horford. Wiggins has always had a knack for that. Get inside, force the D to commit, and draw the foul. Taking two shots. Shoot two. Free throw drops for Wiggins. And I think Andrew Wiggins is a great example of how positions have changed. Came into the league playing a lot of the two. Now we see him at times playing a bunch at the four. And Wiggins drops them both. And for Wiggins, he'll play the stretch four at times. Grant, he's extremely versatile. And B.A., that shows just how the game has evolved. Wiggins is a traditional small forward, but we've seen that push to small ball, shifting Andrew to the four and even the five during stretches. Now here's Smart. Williams with the screen. And he's going for the oop here. And it goes out of bounds. That one off green. Here's Horford, rebounded by Green. Green's got his fourth rebound in this one. Cool, the pass to DiVincenzo. Wiggins from long range. That shot missing. And Boston going the other way now. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Thank you very much, Brian. Well, Jalen Brown has been vocal when it comes to social justice. He said, quote, people need to step up and use their platform. Keep conversations alive and show people that you care. Where your influence is biggest, try to leverage it. Brian, he knows his stuff. Stand up. Allie, thanks. I love seeing Brown get it done inside. He's more than just a jump shooter. DiVincenzo against Smart. The three from Thompson. Fails it. And he's one for five with that one. Guys, is ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon. 
oxygen when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Now here's Horford. White for three. It doesn't go for him. And here's Poole. Here in quarter two, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. And the Warriors lead by one. He finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can thread him with the lead pass. Well done. Williams finds Horford. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. Oh, nothing new for Horford. He knows how to score against tough coverage. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. for Boston. the middle. Here's Brown. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Now it's a three-point Boston lead. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Yeah, you know, after a couple down years with key players injured, it's safe to say the Golden State Warriors are back. Wiggins against Williams. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Shot clock at two. Here's Smart. Now oh, quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. It's Smart on the wing. Pass to Williams. Here's Pritchard. Horford, a screen on DiVincenzo. Here's Pritchard. And too long on the shot. The Warriors are back to contending for championships. Yes, they are. A testament to their perseverance and belief in themselves. They knew once they got healthy, they would be a threat. And they've been a fun team to watch as they get back to form. Now here's Thompson. Fades. That one goes in. Thompson's got five points now in the quarter. We all know Clay can hit this. His accuracy from the mid-range is a reliable option, to say the least. Here's Horford. Let's it go from deep. It's rebounded by Golden State. Green's 
got his fifth rebound in this one. Now here's DiVincenzo. The kick out to Wiggins. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Here's Pritchard. DiVincenzo covering. DiVincenzo with the steal. And the Warriors pushing it up now. Here's Thompson. Gets the jumper from the corner to fall. Thompson's got seven points in the game. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for the Warriors? Pass to Williams. And here's Horford. Here's Pritchard. Out to Horford. 4-3. And from the field after that one, three for four now. And he can still do so many things for you. Big Al calmly knocking it down from distance. Green finds Poole. Thompson outside. This one for three. Smart grabs a miss. Smart's got four rebounds now. Here's Pritchard. DiVincenzo covering. Thompson against Brown. Pass to Horford. Shoots over Wiggins. Horford can't hit. Golden State has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Poole outside. Wiggins with it. Six on the shot clock. Poole from long range. Here's Thompson. Uses the glass on the layup. Thompson's got nine points in the quarter. Ooh, look at Thompson outworking the defense. Winning that second chance look for his team. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. here. Wiseman, he's checked in for Green. Looney comes in for Poole. Kaminga, he's checked in for Clay Thompson. And it's Curry in for DiVincenzo. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Williams is checked in for Williams. Gallinari comes in for Horford. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Brown. And Malcolm Brogdon is subbed in for Pritchard. The Celtics have gone 4 of 10 from the field in the second. Now Brogdon, still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. On the break! It's Wiggins on the wing. Outside Curry. Wiseman with it, guarded now by Williams. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Celtics. It was good to see Andrew Wiggins make his first All-Star team in 2022. For a player with such a great career, it was long overdue. Wiggins against Brogdon. Gallinari, the pass to Tatum. Outside Brogdon. Williams, a screen on Wiggins. Here's Brogdon. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. 
Well, Wiggins didn't just get an All Star selection in 2022. Richard, he was picked as a starter. And that's saying something for a man who isn't always the focal point of his team's offense. Wiggins doesn't need to be the main guy, he wants to be the glue that holds the team together. The first free throw is good. He's off on the second. And after spending his first three seasons with the Bucks, Malcolm Brogdon was part of a sign and trade. Just a great move for his career. Now here's Curry. 12 points for him. Pass to Wiggins. Here's Looney. Williams defending. Six to shoot. Back to Wiggins. Takes the three. Rebounded by the Celtics. And after that 2018 sign and trade, Malcolm Brogdon got an expanded role, Grant. He really did. I mean, Brogdon becoming more of a ball handler, a chance to shine offensively. His numbers as a result have exploded since that deal. Brogdon cashes in the 12-footer. Love seeing Brogdon look for his offense, a dangerous shooter from these in-between spots. The three from Curry. Smart with the defensive effort. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Brogdon against Kaminga. Gallinari inside. Some room here for Williams. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Wiseman's got four rebounds now. Gallinari against Wiggins. Pass to Wiseman. On the wing, Curry. Wiggins outside. Beyond the arc. Smart grabs a miss. Smart has got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Gallinari. And part of the Murray trade over the summer, Gallinari was bought out from the Spurs. So quickly there, he landed with the Celtics. He can still offer great shooting at the forward spot and was a nice signing by Boston. And RJ, you look at the road the Celtics had to the finals last year. Man, that's as tough as it gets. B.A., when I tell you going through Durant and then Giannis, and then you saw the way that the Heat pushed them, and then you see the Warriors in the finals as a reward, that is as tough of a road as you will ever find. And I don't see anything phasing this team now, B.A. And he drops the first. And you have to think that one advantage this Celtics team has is a deep roster. Lots of quality guys they can assemble different ways. They're pretty adaptable. The Celtics making a switch here. White's checked in. Gallinari hits them both. To have a big who's great at the line, such a plus. The Warriors trailing. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Curry against White. Puts up a three. Curry shot is off. The Celtics have gone just 5 of 12 here in the second quarter. Back to Tatum. Gallinari with a screen. From outside the arc. Doesn't go that time. And Golden State will go the other way with it. There's a four-second difference between the shot and game clock. Pass to Wiggins. Fades and shoots. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. Tatum's got rebound number seven tonight. Floats one. White can't hit. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Celtics out in front, up five. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Well, Jason, you hold the lead going into halftime. What's been your advantage so far? Uh, for, for most of the half, um, we were really good defensively. Uh, we let our 
foot off the gas a little bit, so uh, we've got to do a better job. Keep the pedal to the metal, guys. Appreciate it, Alec. And we'll be coming right back after this break, ready for the third quarter. Just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. All three shooters are out there. The splash triplets, Curry, Clay, and Poole. Green out there with Andrew Wiggins. And that's the group for Steve Kerr as we begin the second half. And you're asking for trouble when you give Curry this positioning. He's so efficient down there. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. Now here's Tatum. For three, fires in the triple. Tatum's got 11 points. All right, Richard, I was looking over your accomplishments, doing a little extra prep on you. An NBA title with the Cavs, a state title in high school, and almost won it all in college in Arizona. Is that the one what if in your career? Oh, no. Thank you for bringing those up. But, uh, yeah, I have tons of what ifs. I have, you know, obviously the college championship. I also got Athens in the 04. And look, just for giggles, I also like to talk about the two times I lost in the NBA Finals going against Shaq and Kobe, then Tim Duncan, David Robinson, and Manu Ginobili. But the funny thing is, it's not like they didn't have Hall of Fame head coaches. It was only Phil Jackson and Greg Popovich. So, you know, I've run into a few buzz saws in my day. And you got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. Well, the Warriors shooting a low 26% from the field. Smart against Curry. Thompson outside. Poole left side. Let's it fly. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. Boston has gone only one of three from deep here on the third. Pass to Smart. Tatum against Thompson. The three. Kept alive. Williams' shot is good. And the Celtics lead by eight. He's got a knack for those putbacks, so you have to be aware of that defensively. Get a body on him. And here's Curry for three. And the Warriors miss again. The Celtics have gone two of five in this third quarter. Tatum inside. He's covered by Curry. Good. Five for nine shooting so far. The efficiency from Tatum on the offensive end is terrific. Not letting any scoring chances pass him by. Pass to Thompson. Outside Curry. 
And again, it's the Warriors missing. The Celtics have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, guys, the Celtics are handing the keys to the two Jays, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. There have been growing pains and even some question if the pair could coexist. But Brown said, quote, the adversity will help us grow. As long as I'm on the same page with him and he's on the same page with me, we're all good. Brian? Figuring it out, Allie. Thank you. Boston on offense. Nine points in a row. A good run going. Brown uses the glass to finish the layup. Brown's got 10 points in the game. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Vincenzo, he's checked in for the Warriors. And so it's Golden State with it. They trail by 14. Here's the teardrop, and it's Curry laying it in. Curry's got 16 points now. And Curry makes the floater look so sweet. You just assume that it's going in the minute he releases it. Inside, here's Tatum. Oh, Tatum slams it home. And one move ahead of the defense, a solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Oh, great chemistry on display. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. And with their title last season, the Warriors now with seven in franchise history, no longer tied with the Bulls. They are alone and ranked third all time. Now here's Tatum. 14 points, their largest margin of the game. Williams, a screen on DiVincenzo. Here's Brown, back to Williams. Making his present felt on defense, Curry with the rejection. Here's Thompson, rebounded by the Celtics. Tatum's got 11 rebounds in the game, and the Warriors still have a long way to go to surpass the Celtics and the Lakers for total championships, each with 17. But their ambition from the top down is to do exactly that. They want to be, in their own words, the greatest organization on earth. Definitely playing the long game. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at them. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Now here's Tatum. 20 points for him. Smart for three. And the Celtics another three. Impressive ball handling from Tatum. Attracts the other team's focus and then finds the open man. Green with a screen on Smart. Wiggins right side. Fires the three. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. He 
He's got five. Defensive mix up there. He's the last guy you want to leave open. Smart passes to Horford. On the wing, Tatum. Pass to Smart. Shot clock at six. On the wing, Tatum. Let's the three fly. Here's Williams. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Kaminga, he's checked in for Wiggins. Malcolm Brogdon's checked in for Boston. Pritchard comes in for Smart. The Warriors have gotten only four of ten shots to fall so far in the third. And the Warriors call time here. Well, Grant, you look at the Celtics in their defense. Not a surprise. It's at the heart of this team. No question. I mean, you have three-plus defenders on the perimeter. Their big men can switch on the guards and protect the rim, too. Top to bottom, they can match up well with any team. here. Looney's checked in. The Celtics also with a sub. Williams is checked in for Williams. Vincenzo. Pass to Kaminga. DiVincenzo. Pass to Looney. Just five to shoot. Now here's Thompson. Over Brogdon. And again, no good by Golden State. Here's Pritchard. Defended by Thompson. Now Brogdon. And here's Brown for three. Looney grabs a miss. Looney's got rebound number five here tonight. Thompson passes to DiVincenzo. Back to Thompson. From about 19. Yes, on the jumper. Thompson's got 11. I just love how fast Thompson gets his shot up. It makes him so much more lethal. Pass to Horford, and here's Brown. That shot, no good. Green with the defensive effort. Golden State has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Jalen Brown picks one up. So much to say about Draymond's game. Tough to say anyone else in the league has a larger impact on their team on both sides of the floor. He misses the free throw. And Richard, the weight that Draymond carries for this team can't be forgotten. The impact he has on the defense alone is remarkable. But then you factor in the offense ability, bringing the ball up the floor. There is no doubt he is the vocal leader and the heartbeat. Gallinari, he's checked in for Boston. Now 
He hits the second from the line. And watching Draymond Green play, Grant, he's the quarterback on both ends. I love that, B.A. Defensively, constantly calling out instructions on how to switch, keeping everyone organized. And offensively, Green is an incredible passer, sees guys get open before they do. Now here's Gallinari. Tries to snap the cold streak. Rebounded by Green. Green's got seven rebounds in the game. Brown against Kaminga. Off to Mark. Had a chance there to trim it to single digits. The Celtics shooting 47% during this third quarter. Pass to Pritchard. Outside, Brown. Off target from three-point range. Oh, man, for whatever reason, he can't get it going from three, and he's pretty good from there. DiVincenzo with it. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And here's Thompson for three. And that comes off the assist by Green. And this is Thompson's shot. One of the most gifted outside shooters the NBA, the world, has ever seen. There's a minute 40 left to play in the third quarter. Here's Brogdon. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First person is fouled. First team foul. With the line to the Celtics. Malcolm Brogdon taking two shots. Shoot two. And that one falls for Brogdon. Wiseman, he's checked in for the Warriors. White, he's checked in for Boston. And so Brogdon nails both of them. 136 left to play in the third. Here is DiVincenzo. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's Wiseman. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Had he played to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. James Wiseman at the line for two. And he knocks down the first one. Poole, he's checked in for Thompson. Both shots good from the strike. The Celtics with the lead. 116 left to play in the third quarter here. Brown inside. Kaminga's on him with the 10 footer. Brown can't hit. And the Warriors with possession. They're on a 14 to 5 run. Here's Wiseman. Hits the jump hook. Wiseman's gotten four this quarter. Here's White. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. 46 seconds left in the third quarter. Outside Gallinari. Clock at six. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. Brown can't hit. And he might have thrown himself off when he saw how much space he had for three. Here's Poole. Pass to Looney. The three is up. Poole's shot is off. Brockton against DiVincenzo. 
White, the pass to Brogdon. And here's Brown for three. Drills it from deep. Brown's got 13. You know this is coming with Brown. He is a ruthless sniper outside. And so it's the Boston Celtics. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. Back after this. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. And he definitely deserves the award. Leading the defense like a point guard. He'll be proud of that one. Bigs love when their passing skills are noticed. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. And for the Celtics, they're shooting right at 35%. Not getting what they want out there. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. Tatum and Horford at the forward slots. Derek White out there with Malcolm Brogdon. And it's Williams in at the center. Now here's Poole. Pass to Wiseman. Kaminga with it. Picked up by Tatum. And here's Curry for three. Drains the triple. Curry's got 22 points. And his perimeter shooting might be the key to trimming their deficit. Absolutely, and they have to continue to go to him. Brogdon, the pass to Tatum. Left side, Williams. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. And the Celtics lead by eight. Yeah, the savvy of Horford on display. Just tremendous passing as a big. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Curry finds Wiseman. It's Poole on the wing. The 17-footer. Rebound Boston. 17 points was their biggest margin. Here's White. We've gone about a minute and a half into this fourth quarter. Here's Tatum. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. And now a 10-point Celtic lead. The mechanics of Tatum's jumpers are so solid and allow him to shoot at will there. Curry passes to Wiggins. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And for people who didn't know about Derek White before last year's playoffs, they sure know about him now. He played big on the biggest stage. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Celtics? That one's off. It's amazing how much energy White brings to the floor, Grant. You know, B.A., he has a passion for the game. He's tough, and he's very intelligent. He makes great decisions. He has all the tangibles you're looking for. Draymond Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. Clay Thompson comes in for Kaminga. Smart's checked in for Boston. That's off as well, so he misses both. Yeah, the first overall pick in 2014, Andrew Wiggins has carved out a nice career as a scoring wing. Here's Horford. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to go on Jordan Poole. At the line for the Celtics. Now Horford at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Horford. And it seems wherever Horford has gone during his career, his teammates really enjoy playing with him. A testament to his leadership. Horford hits them both. 
You can tell Horford's teammates look up to him. He's an accomplished veteran with a lot of experience and knowledge, Richard. Yeah, he's just so selfless. The kind of guy who actively tries to make his teammates better. Just a terrific blue guy. Buries it from three. The way that Curry reads the floor, he could get double-digit assist on any night if he wanted to. For Boston, they've gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Smart passes to Tatum. Williams, a screen on Thompson. Tatum with it. Now Thompson defending. And Williams punches it home. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Curry passes to Green. Back to Curry. Wiggins outside. To the paint. Denied by Tatum. The all-star Tatum engaged on defense. That's a scary sight for opponents. Curry against Smart. Out to Horford. And out of bounds. The Warriors will take it. Golden State has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Curry passes to Green. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Back to Curry from downtown. That one no good. And Boston going the other way now. Right side Brogdon. Horford passes to Smart. Tatum with it. Brogdon from outside. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got his fourth assist in this one. Love watching Brogdon make the right reads. He's more than capable of converting catch-and-shoot opportunities. Now here's Wiggins. Now here's Curry. Banked it in off the glass. Curry's got 12 points here in the second half. Somebody, somebody help this man. Get this man some help out there. He's doing everything he can to keep his team in the game. Here's Smart. Pass to Horford. Tatum with a screen. From the arc. The rebound by Wiggins. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Defense pulled out all the stops to shut him down there. Now here's Tatum. Left side, Brogdon. Smart with the ball. Back to Brogdon. Outside Tatum. Fires from deep. And they'll get another chance. And he makes it. And the Celtics lead by 14. Hard work pays off with a rebound and a bucket. That's just great fundamental. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. For Boston, they've gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. Pass to Tatum. The three ball sinks the tray. Tatum's got five points now this quarter. Look at the big Tatum from the coffin corner. Curry against Smart. Count it. Good. Where's the rim protection? That's just too easy for him. The Celtics on offense. They're on a 16-7 run. Outside Tatum. Down low. Here's Horford. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Yeah, the moment Horford has the rock down low. Good night. I mean, just too many moves from the vet. Pass to Green. Outside Curry. Three-pointer off the mark. For Boston, they've gone seven for 11 so far in the fourth. Brogdon, the pass to Smart. They double him with Curry. And Andrew Wiggins gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. And the Warriors making a switch here. DiVincenzo's checked in. The Celtics also with a sub. Brown's checked in. Horford outside. Pass to Brown. 
Williams a screen on DiVincenzo. Now here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering it home like that. Now here's Curry. Thompson outside. DiVincenzo on the wing. And stolen by Brown. He shoots over DiVincenzo. Brown can't hit. The Warriors have gone four for ten in the fourth. And here's Thompson for three. Hits the trifecta. Thompson's got 20. And when he gets hot, Clay can take over. Who can forget you not remember with a 37-point quarter? Now here's Horford. Here's Brown. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Always plays hard until the final timeout, whistle, timeout. no matter Warriors. what the situation is. Now Harden. a timeout called by Golden State. against Smart. Now here's Curry. Tightly guarded. Five to shoot. Back to Green. It's stolen by Smart. Thompson against Tatum. Horford a screen on Thompson. Here's Tatum. Again, the Celtics good for two more. And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. If you want to be great, you have to have that killer instinct. Now here's Curry. Right side green. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. I like when Green looks to score. He's good at putting defenses in a bind. Draymond Green taking two shots. off on the first the quintessential glue guy green does all the dirty work you need one of these guys on your team because he has such a diverse skill set no good on the second free throw 
Boston's got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Pass to Brown. Williams a screen on DiVincenzo. Brown. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That one belongs to Wiggins. So hard to guard him without fouling sometimes. Brown doesn't mind getting a little contact on his way up. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. And we've watched Brown blossom into a talented scorer, someone who's capable of shouldering that entire offensive load. And some changes here for the Warriors. Wiseman, he's checked in for Draymond Green. Looney comes in for Wiggins. And it's Kaminga in for Thompson. And both free throws good for Brown. 127 left in the fourth quarter. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Celtics. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And what a huge performance it was for Jason Tatum. And we can't forget about his effort on defense, specifically how many steals he was able to grab. Just an absolute pass. the Celtics, Jalen Brown taking two shots. Shooting two. Free throw good. Brown. The Celtics making a switch here. Pritchard's checked in. And both free throws good for Brown. 59 seconds left in the fourth. DiVincenzo against Brown. Screen by Wiseman. And here's Curry for three. And the Warriors get it back. DiVincenzo against Brown. On the wing, Curry. Down to five on the shot clock. He drops it from range. He has the fastest shot in the game of basketball. Curry's release is so quick that the D can't afford to lay off him at all. Here's Pritchard. Now Brown. Shoots over DiVincenzo. Brown can't hit. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. To the inside. And stolen by Williams. Here's Pritchard. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. A statement road victory. So impressive. Statement in DBA. It was in enemy territory. But they controlled the game and took the crowd completely out of it. That's how you win on the road. And that'll do it, folks. This is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. And as we leave, we give you our New Balance player of the game, Jason Tatum.